Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.4440. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, we're getting a modernized Windows Home. Hello. So basically Windows Hello is part of the ways that you can improve the security side of Windows, the ways of logging in. In this build, Microsoft is now revamping the Windows Hello user experience. Basically, it adds some visual design changes that match the Windows 11 design principles and they are making the authentication more intuitive. First of all, we have the modernized Windows Hello visual communication. The updated Hello visuals are designed to facilitate fast and clear communication and appear on the Windows sign and screen as well as other authentication flows such as passkey, Microsoft Store and more. We're also getting a revamped Windows Hello credential user experience for pass keys and the new administrator protection experience. This is also with a new design. You're going to see a screenshot from the official Microsoft blog post to see how that looks. And this experience will also apply for the new administrator protection feature coming to Windows 11 version 24H2 and higher and currently in preview with Windows Insiders in the Canary channel. Of course, this update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. In this build, Microsoft have temporarily disabled the new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in Windows 11 that began rolling out with the previous build to address some issues and the feature will roll out again in a future build. We also have a fix in this build. Microsoft fixed an underlying issue causing touch keyboard crashes and the IME Canada window did not appear for some insiders in the previous flight. So this is basically everything that we have in this build for the better channel. It's a very small build but of course if you want to be up to date with all the new features and changes you can watch these videos always on the tech base channel. For more information as always, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.